Hey guys, this is Swordfish. Today I'm playing Rogue Legacy. We need, we uh, there's nothing in particular we're saving up for. Well, no, that's not true. We want randomized children real bad. We got bestiality turned into a dragon, that was awesome. Um, we want randomized children, so our goal is gonna be this episode to unlock that. Gotta make enough money to unlock that. I need some armor up. Can't afford that. Health. It's gonna be health. Alright. Oh boy, our frame rate is down again. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's make sure it stays and it's gonna go up. It doesn't look like it's gonna go up. Alright, since we're gonna start over from the castle anyway. Oh, I can reread the diary. That's so helpful. Since we're gonna restart from here anyway, I'm gonna just gonna, gonna quit first and just make sure that that's, uh, that's straightened out. And just like I did last time, I'll see you in just a second. Right now. Alright, we're back. We're back with 60 frames per second. Just what we want. Okay, that's... Okay. Oh, I have... I have the... Yes! I specifically chose this character because I, uh... have that peripheral arts or whatever, the foot thing, that makes you not set off spike traps and... That's really exciting. I also, if you look up at the top of the screen, the top left, I have 443 points. So if I don't make a serious, if I can't get enough gold to unlock that thing that I was trying to unlock, the randomized children, if I can't get enough gold to unlock that, this much hit points, I don't deserve to be making a series about this game. Now, it's already pretty clear that I don't deserve it from the way that I handle this room. Especially since there's nothing at the other side. There wasn't even a benefit. Oh my god. Oh, and I forgot to take off the smite cape again. Or the... Not smite, what is it? Siphon? I forgot to take off that cape. I really... That's gonna hurt us. Still, I mean, I should. Oh, we have another game. Hold up, we gotta, we gotta read. Tribal tallies. Development time three months. Release date November twenty third, two thousand nine. They're going backwards. Tribal tallies was the first project we'd worked on, on, worked on after the horrible experience with Band of Bears. It was a bit of a test project to dabble our feet in the water of iOS gaming, since we'd never tried to make something on mobile platforms before. The game was simple in concept, as you tap numbers in sequence as fast as you could. To spice things up, we implemented several modes like tap backwards, hidden numbers, and tap matching. We thought the scope was reasonable, but the game ended up taking much more time than expected. It didn't help, it was all coded on a Hackintosh. It was a pretty plain game. We could have done better, but we were all playing it safe after Band of Bears. Aww. Poor guys. That one isn't so interesting. <laughs> All the other game, now they said they were playing it safe. All the other, the game, they're like, games that they talk about, they're old games, were, uh, they, they sounded pretty cool. That one, not so much. Not really excited about that one as a concept. Has the, um, the chicken been leveling up? I feel like 48 is a huge amount of hit points for that chicken to be healing. Not gonna complain. Absolutely not gonna complain, but um, it seems like that's a lot of hit points. Alright. Now this is gonna be down to the, yeah. I want the 
chest. I want the chest. Probably wasn't worth it. Absolutely 100% was not worth it. I am gonna... Oh. Well, that was absolutely stupid. 100% not worth it. 100% stupid. 100% shouldn't have done that. Oh well. We gotta make up the hit points now by being extra safe. And when I say extra safe, what do I always do? I always die. Maybe I should say extra reckless. We have to be extra reckless now. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that was, that was really funny. Okay. Alright, let's, sorry, let's, let's calm down. Calm down. We got a lot of experience here. We've been playing this game for 18 episodes. You'd think by now... I think by now we could get a run without doing anything dumb. Obviously that's not the case. I have a... I've always had trouble with being anxious in games. That's absolutely something that I struggle with. I, I run into enemies and trying to hurry up instead of uh, taking my time and being safe. I try to hurry up and, and beat the level or, or kill the enemy or whatever the thing I'm trying to do. And I run into danger and I, I get there. I, I make more time for myself. That was a perfect example. I could have just sat still and collected those, but I had to run around. And when I ran around... I ended up falling down and wasting time. Impatience. Really impatient. Okay. At least we're getting our health back. Because that was brutal. That was... Those, uh... Underworlders are really nasty. Right, there's a lot of enemies in this room, so that could be good or bad, depending on, on how we handle it. We want a lot of enemies because a lot of enemies give us a lot of health. You guys know that already. Alright, just kill him through the wall, yeah. Alright, we got him. We got this gold on the ground. This is a huge room. I actually don't recall ever being in this room before. Maya? No, just uh. Well, it was worth it. That was worth it for the chicken leg. We're almost up to full. It's actually really impressive. We're almost up to full, and we almost we have. 3600 gold, which is, like, awesome. It's a lot of gold for the castle. We're gonna do the castle. Alright, the Maya's up there. Dang, let's just double check. Yep, yep, let's, okay, GTFO. Oh, GTFO again. Let me make sure I didn't miss any rooms. I got... I think I need to teleport to the boss room and then go down and to the right, because I want to go through the forest now. If my goal is to milk this barbarian queen for all she's worth, then... Can I go down through that? I, I can't tell, so I'm just going to go around. The lock is in the way. I can't tell if there's a down door. 
Um, I'm gonna milk this barbarian queen for all the gold that she's worth. Clear the castle. Head to the forest. All right. There we go. Let's talk. Journal entry number 22. I sit here making my final preparations. All that lays between me and the lord of this castle is the golden doors. There's a nervousness in my body that I cannot quell. Is this fear or fear excitement? <gasps> fear excitement is an incredible word. Is this fear or fear excitement? All I know is that my journey is finally reaching an end. I've almost forgotten why I entered this castle in the first place, but I remember now. I have bested my siblings, I will save the king, and I will leave this castle a greater man than when I entered. My family will get the honor they so rightfully deserve. Now I enter the throne room. Well, now he enters the throne room. Now we enter the throne room, maybe episode 50. It's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a while. We're not... We're... We are struggling to... Struggling. We're struggling. Let's just. The Maya is gonna be a tough, a tough, uh, a tough cookie to crack, so. We're gonna crack it. We're gonna crack that cookie. I love cookies. I, uh, I, I always say when anyone asks what your favorite food is, cookies are my answer to that question. I love cookies. Most kinds of cookies. My favorite, I really like peanut butter cookies. I really like chocolate chip cookies. I mean, who doesn't love chocolate chip cookies, but I really love chocolate chip cookies. I really like peanut butter cookies. Uh, peanut butter chocolate chip is theoretically the best cookie in the world by those measures. Um, and they are good, but, um, they're tough to make. I haven't... I've had a lot of peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. I haven't had a lot of great ones. Holy crap. Holy crap. This is nutso. If I die in here and, and come just short because I got cocky... I'm gonna be upset with myself. Seems like I'm gonna be fine. Alright, I got it, I got it, I got the gold. Fell right on that enemy, okay. Well... So, in theory, peanut butter chocolate chip should be my favorite cookie. And when it's done well, it absolutely is my favorite cookie. However, I found that they're often not great. Good, always good. Always good, but uh, often not great, which is a shame. If anyone has... Um, Maybe they're master bakers out there. If you have an incredible chocolate chip, peanut butter chocolate chip cookie recipe that you could send me, that'd be awesome. Alternatively, send me cookies. That'd be the awesomest. I think this is impossible for me, yeah. I'm not fast enough for this one. Um... Yeah, alternatively to sending me recipes is sending me actual cookies. In fact, that'd be better. But, uh... I don't want to bother with that. Okay. I understand if you don't want to... Don't want to do that. But I, I, I strongly agree. I like... So those are my favorites, but... Oh, man. I like all cookies, really. Um... Sugar cookies are good. Chocolate, well. Now, when I think about it, I'm thinking homemade in my mind. Of 
course, homemade cookies are not the only cookies, but... Um... Yeah, when I, when I... In my mind, when I think cookie, I think, like, homemade chocolate chip cookie, because that's, like, heaven. Heaven in a, in a baked good, right there. But, um... But uh, store-bought cookies can be good, too. They're good in a different way. Uh, my favorite cookie in a bag, or pa my favorite packaged cookie, is Famous Amos. Famous Amos Chocolate Chip. Um, I, I don't have a particular reason. I mean, they're delicious. My reason is that they're delicious. I don't have an explanation for what I think is delicious about them. They're just tasty. But it's a different, really, it's a different category altogether. You could never, there's no way you could ever compare a Famous Amos to a mom's homemade cookie. But I'd eat either one. I'd eat, either, you know. I'd always, I'd choose mom's homemade over Famous Amos every time, of course, but I'd never turn down a Famous Amos either. All right, defeat all enemies. This could be really hard. But I need the gear. I actually don't. <laughs> I Now, I say that because I'm sort of in default to get the gear mode. I don't really need the gear. I, I unlocked a lot of rooms already. And the ones that... I'm not super excited about using any of them. Got it. What's in here? Retaliation rune. Now, oh, that's, yeah, that's a thorns. That's a thing I don't have. Um, that could be really good, actually. Um. But yeah, store-bought cookies, not the same category as homemade cookies, but equally delicious. You really need a cookie rating system, cookie categories. I've... It's funny, I've given this speech, not the cookie speech, the speech I'm about to give. Um, to, I'm a really... I love burgers. Hamburgers, cheeseburgers. I, I'm, I'm a huge, huge fan. If you, um, if you... Now, like I said, my favorite food is cookie. If you limited my favorite food question to dinner food, or lunch food, or whenever you want to eat it, not dessert food. If you limited it to not dessert food, my answer would be a burger. My favorite food. And I have a burger... Not rating system. It's not a rating system. It's a classification system, I think I would call it. Oh my god, we got another journal. All right, let's see here. Journal entry number 23. I never knew a treasure lay in this castle. Excuse me. I only knew that it would cure the king. Who could have suspected it would be the fountain of youth? Oh? Oh. I expected a monster to greet me at the... Dias? 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 A foe of unimaginable strength. I imagined it would take all my strength to best him. But when I entered the castle and saw my father, the king, sitting atop the dais with goblet in hand, I knew all was lost. He would never die, and I would never be heir. There are no words to express what I feel. Twist! There's a plot twist! Well, that's interesting. We had a little plot twist there. That seems like it's gonna be the end, not the end, but I can't imagine there's gonna be a lot of journal entries after that. All right, get out of here. Oh, there's a fairy, a defeat all enemies, no way. This could be, let's not get ahead of ourselves, but we're getting close to 10,000. We've never broken 10,000 before. I 
wanted to kill the enemy and get the health, but I knew that fairy chest was never gonna happen. Alright. I think this is the last room in the, um, in the forest. I think I just cleared the... Let me look. Did I clear the whole thing? I don't see any runes. I don't see any more runes. I think I cleared the whole forest. And I cleared the whole castle. Wow. So it looks like we have no choice but to go to the Maya. Alright. That's fine. That's a good reason. What's this fairy chest? Take no damage. Well, then. Well, I should probably just leave. Um. Alright, we have a new goal. It doesn't look like we're gonna get. I was gonna say, we have a new goal to break 10,000 gold. Oh, I could have. Oh! I just opened the chest, I would have got it! Oh, man. I killed a lot of enemies. Oh, that was awesome. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's do that again. Let's do it again. And, we are gonna randomize children. We got it! That's exciting. Now, the reason that that's exciting, I don't know if I, I... I didn't really explain why I was so excited about that. Um... Sometimes you get a crappy roll. You just get, like, bad choices of children, and it's really frustrating. It's really frustrating, so... That's exciting just so that I can not do that again. So that I don't have to deal with that. I can re-roll. Okay. Oh, I forgot I don't have it. Pad. Um, so I have, there's, I think, it was, so I was talking about burgers. Burgers are my favorite non-dessert food. I love burgers. And, um, I love them in all shapes and sizes. So people try to compare, compare burgers that you can't compare. Which is why you can't compare them with each other. They're just not, they don't belong together. So I came up with a mental uh, classification system. Um, so that you can compare like apples with apples instead of apples with. What well, would be like a burger, this, it's like comparing oranges and clementines. I think is the best way I can do it. Comparing burgers from different genres. Yeah, oranges to clementines. That's my analogy. Can I get up there? Is that at all possible for me to get up and through that? I think I'm too big. So, you've got your, uh, your fast food burger. Number one is your fast food burger. We're gonna go in Maya a little bit here. We're gonna adventure. So that's the one everybody knows, your fast food burger. The McDonald's, the Burger King, Wendy's. Those are your fast food burgers. Then, this is really funny how intense this is, the, th the intensity of the game and the casualness of the chat. Then, you've got your, uh, after your fast food burgers, You've got your, and so, personally, my opinion, the best of all the fast food burgers is Burger King. Personally. It's not, uh, not a huge statement. They're all kind of the same. All right, wait, we gotta try to do it again. Try to get this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We never got that one before. We're getting better. We're getting better at this game. 
but fast food burgers are fast food burgers. They're not really high quality. They're just kind of salty. They're delicious because they're salty. You know, that's uh, basically it. Then, oh boy. Should I try to do this? I'm not going to try to do this. So then you've got your, um... You're kind of medium, not, not fast food, but like medium fast. The like high quality fast food. And those are um, your Shake Shacks. Shake Shack, which is New York. Not New York only, but it's pretty much only New York. Your Shake Shack, your in and out Burger. Your Five Guys. Burgers and Fries. Those are what I would call high quality fast food burgers. Because they are fast food, technically. But they're uh, they're they're better, they're they're better meat, they're made better, they're more delicious. I think that genre, the um, the medium fast food, I don't have a better name for it. High, it's like high quality fast food is um, the most most loved and I think has the most passionate supporters of different places so there's people who are like no absolutely Shake Shack is the best burger in the world and no In-N-Out is the best burger in the world blah 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 and um they have really aggressive, passionate supporters, and I think the reason for that... I was talking about this at work with one of my coworkers the other day. I think the reason for the passionate division in, um, in amongst those burger lovers is that each of them has their own sort of distinct... Their, their own sort of distinct uh, flavor. Like, not flavor. Their own distinct style. It's hard to describe exactly what they are, the style, but like you could never, you would never mistake a burger from one of those places for a, bur a, a burger from another one of those places. So you're not, but this is, you know, absolutely, this burger is from In and Out, this burger is from Shake Shack, this burger is from, um, from Five Guys. So that's that category, and, and like I said, that's, there's a lot of passion there. And rightfully so, because they're, they're so good. They kind of are a best of both worlds sort of situation. They're like high quality meat, but also kind of greasy and cheesy and gross. Like the things people like about about the fast food burgers, but also the things people like about the next burger, which I would call the steakhouse burger. So when you go to a steakhouse, most steakhouses have a burger. And most of the time, it's delicious. Because steakhouses, obviously, they're all about their beef. Uh, bad steak is not delicious. So, they have good beef at a steakhouse, which mean, naturally means they probably have good burgers. Now, I, and I, can't, I can't pinpoint necessarily a place, because any steakhouse, really, they're all the same sort of the same sort of experience. It's a. Uh, it's gonna be higher quality meat. It's gonna be um, bigger, sort of a big slab of meat, but not overwhelming. And those are delicious, and they're a little better quality, like I said. And then the last category, I would say. What I call the artisan burger. And those are those are the burgers with like um, with a bunch of stuff on them, other than burger things like um, aiolis and pestos, and, like basically a burger with really fancy trimmings. I would give that its own category of burger. Now, they're all delicious. I love all of them. 
I would say my least favorite is the fast food burger. Just because it's not good. And Shake Shack is awesome. I happen to have a Shake Shack down the street from my office. So, it's a weak spot. Okay. <laughs> this was the food episode of Rogue Legacy. The special edition food episode. That's it for that. I managed to stay alive so much, I only got through two runs in one episode. I got a lot of money. And we explored a lot of the Maya without dying. I'm actually very proud of myself. I may take back what I said about not ever going back there. But that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate giving it a like down below the video. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe to my channel. You'll get them in your... Your YouTube feed, you'll get them in your email, and you'll make me feel really good about myself seeing the subscriber count go up. It's wonderful. Um, if you think you might enjoy this game, and trust me, you're gonna enjoy this game because it's really fun. Uh, please support Cellar Door Games and give it a purchase so they can keep making fun stuff. I like that they keep putting little facts in here about their old games, just trying to. It, it makes them seem like they've been trying for a while, which obviously is true. They've really gone through a lot of games and to get here where they are today with this wonderfully fun and quite popular, which is exciting for them, quite popular title. So do that. I hope you have a great day. Hope the rest of your day is wonderful. The rest of my day is going to be wonderful because it's nighttime and I'm going to go to sleep soon. And I love sleeping. But, so whatever you do after you watch this video, I hope it's great. And, uh, this is the cheesy outro. Although I kind of like that. I may say that more often. Whatever you do after this video, I hope it's great. And, uh, I will see you next time you come on clicking by the YouTubes.